cancer. It is in each one of us, in all of us. In some cases, it is quiet, unharmful. In other cases, it destroys. Always it is feared. But the human spirit is resilient. Hope prevails over wounded bodies. Cancer a dreaded disease afflicting millions of human beings worldwide. Medical cures remain elusive, but cancer is not merely a medical challenge. It is also an emotional and a spiritual challenge. The cancer journey is often attended by sadness and fear. The reason why family, friends, and the support group are crucial. They are companions, co-pilgrims on the road to hope and healing. For many cancer patients, the arduous journey begins even before any sign or symptom presents itself. It begins even before the patient is diagnosed. As most cancer survivors know, um, checkups and all kinds of workups are conducted every six months at least for five years, if not more than that. What do you do in between treatments? I think for me, the most important thing is to combat anxiety, to combat fear, and whenever able to be productive, which is what I'm trying to do. Being productive means that on good days, in my case, um, I teach more hours. I do a lot of pro bono work uh, in Pampanga, for example, doing um, Men of Light, a weekly television show on the Sunday Gospels. I continue to travel to Mindanao and uh, do whatever I can to continue my advocacy for peace and peacemaking. Um, and then I have a film institute and an art center where I'm surrounded by students who are young and healthy and optimistic and energetic. And from them, I gain a lot of inspiration. Um, if I can't walk as fast as I used to, and if I can't work as many hours as I used to be able to, it's just as uh, fulfilling and satisfying, I think, and productive to watch my students do the running for me. CareWell offers activities that provide our members with opportunities for enhancing their health and wellness in a holistic manner. Carewell was envisioned by the late Jessica Jackie Fernandez Suntai and her husband, Robert Bobbitt Suntai. So we got married in 1996, December of 96, and we left for Boston together in uh, 2000. So we'd been married, you know, almost four years by then. And, you know, those first couple of years that we were just, just the two of us together in Boston were, were so special. I think that's what really 
brought us so close together. You know, parang s- starting out like looking for an apartment, parang playing house by in a way. So it was a really special time for us in our in our marriage. And at the same time, you know, Jackie was doing her fellowship training at Harvard. I was working on my doctorate, so we were also able to balance our our careers. And I think that gave us the core of strength, the foundation of trust in one another, so that in 2003, when we found out Jackie was ill, in a way, we kind of already had a, a really strong foundation to, to weather the challenges that would come from that point onwards. Uh, it was advanced metastatic ovarian cancer, stage 3C. So really just a hair under stage 4. So, you know, we knew that it was a situation where we would really just have the opportunity to make the most of each day that we had for however long or however short that might be. Jackie was always kind of the stoic one, the courageous one. Uh, I was different. I was the one who was always, you know, really scared and crying and, and emotionally upset about it. But I tried to follow her lead. Uh, in fact, almost immediately when she began her, her chemotherapy in Boston, we heard about this organization called the Wellness Community and the social worker who told us about it said, you know, it's such a great place. And we were so inspired by our experience there that, you know, Jackie and I immediately thought, sayang, there's nothing like this in the Philippines. What if we could bring something like this home and, you know, make make something positive out of our, our cancer experience? So one thing led to another and and that's how we ended up setting up Carewell here in Manila. So in 04, when we came home for a visit, um, Jackie's dad and my dad were also already sick at that time. We floated the idea of setting up Carewell here. And before Jackie passed away in 05, we had actually already incorporated Carewell. So she was alive all the way until the time we were able to incorporate. And all it takes is your open heart When all it takes are your open arms Though you may not take the pain away But bit by bit and day by day Yeah, that's, that's my hope, that's my dream, that we can really reassure people that we are here for them and that it is truly our privilege to be co-travelers with them along their cancer journeys. We may never be able to thank you enough, so we thank God instead. Gentler treatment than say yeah.